Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Factorio with Bright Blade, um, episode 16 of uh, Let's Play Fact or uh, of the Bob's Mod Edition. Sorry. Um, anyway, I, I just kept I kept looking at this. I spent all this time on this, putting all these pipes in and everything else, and I'm just like, uh, this looks like crap. So, um, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna de deconstruct this whole thing. Um, and we're gonna make it look neater. I just, I've been watching other people's videos and I'm like, I don't like the way it's done. Um, i to get rid of that. I can't really get rid of that, it can I? Have to delete it, I guess, somehow. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do is, I've actually got a few of these. We're gonna get rid of, uh, um, all of that. In fact, I think we're gonna get rid of everything right to there. So, um, one of the things we need to do, obviously, is, uh, find our power poles and put them back in the main unit here. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that power. Oops, I always do that. Okay, so let's give these guys power again. Um, let's see, I want that one gone. Mainly what we want to do is we want to get, um, start building uh, a row where we can actually do these. Actually, you know what? That's just fine. Let's go ahead and just uh, we're gonna come off right here because this thing's actually full and that's the way I wanted it. I wanted it full. We're just gonna put one on there so if we do take any out we still got enough to put stuff back in. Um, let's go down uh, a few rows here. Let's, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn and what we're going to try it, what our, our goal is, is to get these done decently. Um, so I think I want six of these. That was what I got, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, we're going to set all of these to that. And then we're just going to start... Uh, these guys in. And I think what we're going to do to make this a little bit easier, well, wait, that won't work. I'm trying to think here. Let's actually take these out. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do this the easiest way possible so we don't have to use um, a lot of stuff here, um, a lot of resources. So let's go down and make this a, um, two, three, four, five, six. Um, actually I think I put seven in there, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay, so we have enough of these. So I think what we'll do is we'll use the reds to bring in the ore, which will work just fine. And then I think we're going to, let's see, starting right uh, here, I'll put in another belt. And this one here for now can stop right there. Let's get this out of my backpack. And we'll just go ahead and put that in the crusher. We'll set the crusher up. So my main idea here is, um, because of the way this is done, if we're going to put them out on the belt, we actually have to use purples. Okay. And then we're going to power this all up. Um, I want these purples out here somehow. There we go. We'll probably have to make more purples to get everything done, but uh, for the moment it will work just fine. So let's go ahead and power that up. I think if we do that like that, that there will be just fine. So, want that in there. Let's go this easy. Um, the only thing that's going to suck is this is going to be all on one side of the belt, but uh, if we have to we can put uh, extra in, but I don't know if we really need to. If we 
build this all correctly. The heck, oh, that was nice of me. I took the wire off the there. So okay, so that'll get all these moving along. Um, trying to decide exactly what we want to do with them. I'm thinking. I kind of want to just put a whole row of them up here, but it's kind of a pain. Um, because we want to, we want to put these guys here. We want to, oh shoot. We might have to use uh, purples there as well to output. Okay, maybe I didn't think this out as well as I thought I did. Okay, and that we want this to be the crush door. Um, hopefully, down the road here we can get everything. Oops, there we go. Working the way I want it to work. We could hook these together and just put them all into a combinator and then have one item so that we could easily. Uh, you know, decide, well, we're out of blue, let's quick run the other stuff in, but, uh, eh, I don't want to really mess with that. Okay, so we are at the point where we need blues no matter what we do. So, that's part of the reason we're doing all this mess, too. Um, I think as far as this, we're going to go like this. Go ahead and power this all up. See, I think if we go, no, nope, might as well just go one here, there, there, and one right there. I don't know if I could remember how to do it, or uh, I might not even have that thing in. There's a way to set, like, so one puts it on the outside lane and one sets it in the other, but I don't think I have that mod in the game here right yet, yet. So. I think what we're going to do for the moment, since we're only putting these into single rows, let's go like this, and for now we're going to put them in like that. We're going to, uh, I'll, I'm going to get one of these buildings here later on, and we'll put them in one of those later on, but for right now we can fill this up and I wonder how much, if we got one that's like semi-empty that I could just like tear apart quick, yeah. So let's just throw this, we'll throw the slag in with these guys. Okay, where's my last of the slag, okay. So, let's go ahead and get this box out of here before it gets too busy. Um... Not sure I really wanted this here, but uh, I'm thinking if we do this like this, we can get. We can just kind of keep building the next set. So, what I think we're going to do here is. I'm just. I'm trying to figure out how we can do this so that uh, this all becomes part of the next step. You know, so that we can. Uh, well. The easiest way would be to uh, push all this ore over into this box. So we'll just, uh, I think we'll just do this whole idea here again. But I think I want these further away. Or do we want the, this all down like here? How hard would that be to put? We put that right there. We can put one right like that. And let's just run this. Because now we don't have to worry about it till there. And then uh, if we decide to build another set of these, we can build them over here. 
and keep shipping that stuff right down the line. But I see one little problem that we got there, but that ain't going to be too big of a deal, I don't think. So we got all this kind of slag stuff in there. We're not going to worry about it at the moment since, since we're able to ship it out of here. It's not that big of a deal, but... Um, okay, sorry. I'm going to... Before this gets too full... In fact, I want to pull this one out before this one gets going. Let's actually go... Let's go, like, out here. I just want to get these out and away from the... The kind of... The crowd or whatever you want to call it. You know, kind of... Get it where it's not so crowded. And then I think if we put that one there... Well... It'd help if I actually uh, physically put it in. So now we're going to see if we can get rid of this one. Good, we can. I probably got a ton of this stuff on me. Well, not a ton, but... So what I'm... I'm just thinking if we can get these out and away from the main machines, we don't have to fight with them as much. And as we need more room... Because, let's see, we can't put it there because that's too much. Go there. We don't, probably don't need five. If we get to the point where we need five, there's something wrong, to tell you the truth. Okay, so then we can come down. Let's just, we're going to have to clear out a row of these things, maybe two. I have a feeling those uh, pieces I put down there are just going to end up... Uh, all over the place kind of thing. Okay, so we're filling this up with now with the crushed. So if we wanted to, um, I just want to kind of, for reference, I don't want it actually there. Okay, that'll work just fine. We're gonna have to remove some more of this stuff by hand here or something. I need some better picks is what I need, but... And right now we got a lot more steel than we do iron, so... It'd be a hell of a lot easier to get that. Flotation cells are the next step here. I think this kind of doing this kind of in a more of a grid system will make things a little easier. Um, because I've looked at a lot of other videos and everything looks so neat, and mine's just so, uh, well, not neat. <laughs> so, um,. Definitely think about going down on the bottom side of this for the flotation cells, but I want to line them up with right there. And what I'm wondering, let's actually do the flotation shell yeah. cells like that. Two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. So yeah, the flotation cells are a little bit bigger, but actually, let's... Okay. These guys make um, two every second. If we do this, these guys will make two every two seconds. So we only technically need three of these to keep up. So, I'm not sure exactly where we're need. Oh, um, I messed up. Surprise, surprise, huh? Because even if we wanted to, I don't think we can get... Yeah, we can't get one in there. So let's go ahead and just... Let's just throw that in for a reference point. Um, okay, I knew there'd be way too much copper. Oh! 
I've got way too much junk left on me now. Okay. So if we use that as a reference point, and we get rid of all these poles so we can get in here. Good, that's working really well. I like that. So let's, uh, let's see. We want to be lined up with this mess here. We need one there. But can we do this? That's the thing. Let's actually come down one more space. This way we can do this. Um, what I'm going to use is use the reds to do it. So we need this one gone. Feeling this is going to be a, a lot of work here. Because <laughs> once we get down to the last piece, then we're really going to have to have belts galore to send stuff around, and we're going to need more of these. But uh, I'm not worried about it at the moment. Okay, so. Do we have any uh, lights? Yeah, we got one. So this gives us some light anyway. Okay, so if we went like this, and then one right here, we'd be good for the for that. Now it'd have to be like that. Let's go down here and go ahead and do this side, too. How are we doing for... I got extra windows open that I don't need open. Okay. I was just kind of checking the time. I don't want to run too far over this time if I can help it. Oh, that'll work. Okay. So... This thing right now is just in the way, but we're not going to worry about it. Um, let's see if, uh, okay, if we put, I'd like to be able to unload this so we can load, unload both sides of the belt. Oh wait, I'd need, wouldn't I need one over here? Wouldn't we need it over here, I'm thinking? So right now we're just going to unload it with a single side. So that'll go there. Let's put this one right here and we'll remove all this. Actually, let's just... <laughs> so we don't have to have any of this mess. Let's just unload this right there. come down here. Can we get everything in one shot? Yes, we can. Nice. Okay, so we need one there to connect the whole thing. Um, of course, we're going to need stuff out the other side too, but I'm not worried about that right now. And I think we're just going to kind of uh, do like the same pattern here all the way across. We'll get rid of all this blue before we get too crazy, but uh, I wish the silo wasn't already full. Because that could be very useful for kicking even more out onto the belt. So, okay. Oh, we need the purified water first. Okay, so how far out can we get? And where's our purified water? Over there, okay. That really sucks. <laughs> I think we're going to change the way things work here when we do all this. Because we're going to have... Uh, um, obviously we don't need any of this stuff anymore. I think we're going to have to uh, kind of 
Not exactly make a liquid bus, but kind of. But this one will come out the top side here. Let's see, where does this one gotta go? Okay. Oh, sugar. Um, anyway. Okay, so that'll give us both of them. Or allow us to mess with both of them. I'm actually thinking we might, uh... Well, that one creates sulfur, and I don't want sulfur laying around anywhere. Um, I just want to get rid of a few of these trees, because we need them gone. Okay, so these guys, they create all three of the... or create these two. So what I'm thinking is, since I want to use the purples to do this, and we want to put them there, there, and like here, um, I want to uh, set these up, so, let's see, you're going to take out the chunks. Okay, so we'd take out the chunks there, and that would be like, let's see, they gotta go that way, so. And I think that one's already going the correct way. So we would need one right there as well. I think what we're just going to do is just use a, a weaving system and then we'll send, uh, we'll put uh, two of these out here further where we're, okay, we don't quite need them that far. Um, we don't need you or you there right now. We're going to add that light in right there for the moment. We're going to use this as like a weaving system. We need one there. And one there. Um, why does it... Oh, because we don't have no power. I need to see how can we get power here. Because we need that space for, for an output. That'll give us that. So that'll, uh... Okay, we should actually have them on the belt somewhere already. They're there. I'm just gonna stick these back into the system so that they kick them out and send them down the belt. Okay, so I need uh, more purples, which I think I can make. No, I cannot. I'm out of copper. Turn down and get copper, and we're going to need more steel and more iron. But our iron should be backed up on the belt, so we should be able to pick that up pretty easily. Now, this whole thing's going to be a, a, a repeatable pattern that we can uh, repeat for um, every type of ore that we got. And we can send the ore back over you know, and around over to the other side to actually start uh, working with it, um, depending on what we got. Because I think once we do start doing stuff other than these two main uh, uh, metals, we'll end up with a lot more. Alright. 
Okay, I'm getting the hiccups here for some dumb reason. Not even drinking anything. Okay, there we go. And see, this is another reason I want to get rid of all this. I want to have all the stone in one place. I mean, we got so much stone sitting down here. Once we get the iron working up there, this iron's coming out, all this iron's coming out, but well, let's not worry about that right now. Yeah, I figure it's going to run out of resistors again. Wow, I've taken a lot of resistors. Usually this, re this is another um, section we're going to work with here in the near future and try and get uh, everything built. Like this here is going to come out of the base, this is going to come out of the base. We'll get everything uh, nice and neat and tidy. Okay, and we need a couple of the red undergrounds. Hopefully there's some more up here in the box. I think we're out of yellows too. Well, we got a few. Um, yellow undergrounds are... Well, okay, I don't quite need that many. Whoa. Oh. That's right, I forgot there's a whole mess load of these suckers in here. I'll stick that there. Let's go ahead and kick that one over there so they can make them. Oh, wait, we don't want them making them. There's more than too many already. Alright, so we have... Uh, how many purples we have being made? Six, nine... That should be enough for the moment, I think. Let's we're gonna grab some more iron if we can find it. Um whoops, that's not what the iron I want. I want this iron. Okay. So I'm hoping to alleviate this and get rid of a lot of this mess here. I want all this mess up top. Even if we gotta uh, bring this stuff out, load it into a train which can be a pain, but once we get iron running smoothly, it really shouldn't be a pain at all. And then we can kind of uh, start building stuff in the base that's uh, you know, kind of in-game products or whatever you want to call them. Well, not really in-game, probably like intermediate pro products, like uh, stuff that you, you don't use, you know, to make another item, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I didn't even bother making one of them, did I? Okay. So we're going to make the one warehouse, and then we're going to have to build the other one. Um, let's see. The warehouse is starting to be built. So let's go ahead and use the reds that we got already. So we need one there. One there. And one right there. Ooh, we can get them nice and far. That's good. That'll work for me. So, um, we should have some purples already done. Okay, so we need a purple there, there, and there. Which means, actually, we didn't really need this one. Um... Let's actually pull this out. Let's see how far we can make that one work. Cause okay, so we can put that one there. And then we'll worry about where it needs to go after that. But we need this uh, unit right here. So that'll end up on the red line, and of course I have that problem. Oh, neither one of them got on the red line. That's funny. Oh, okay, so we're not going to worry about that too much. So let's go ahead and put a power pole in right there. Actually, put it in right there. I want to keep this semi-neat. Okay, so these guys are going down the belt. So we're going to need to pull 
those up there. Which is fine. Okay, we almost got this done. <laughs> Cause um next we make the um the sorting facilities. Which I'm actually wondering if we shouldn't uh the more I look at this, the more I'm thinking we're in, putting them in the wrong spot. Well, it's not so much the wrong spot, but the wrong side of the belt. Because like this one, we've got it on the top of the belt so that it'll, uh, on top of the next belt, actually. Um, seriously? Okay, but even with that right there, we still got enough room. Oh, nice, we got enough to actually get that. S okay, so that goes right there. Okay, what happened where we got something in our backpack that's all... What do you mean? Oh, it's still trying to put stuff in my backpack that I don't want. Let's go ahead and throw it in the trash slots. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the the reds. Um, so I'm just I'm kind of looking at this. And I'm trying to figure out whether we need another one of the, whether we need to move this and just put it up on the, you know, like, uh, ah, darn it. Put that up here, so it's out of the way, so this guy will still work, but then, so you could go like that, and we could ship two of them out at a time, if we need them. I think right now we're having the problems with these guys. Oh, I just noticed that, that it was blinking. Can we get that to work right if we... Yeah, so that's the problem we need. There, that'll work. So now we just need to pull the red one out. What I'm actually thinking... Uh, I don't want to keep... I'm constantly moving these and I don't like this. Um, Okay, if we put you there, we don't need you there. You don't even need to be there. Let's see what we can do here. Um, you can go right there. And you can go there. Um, and then that can go... That can actually go right there. Okay, so that actually works a heck of a lot better. <laughs> and I'm not sure if maybe we should have put another flotation cell or two in. We, we will as we need them. In fact, what I should do... It's okay, since so flotation cells are right here. Let's put that there. I'll put that guy there. Let's go ahead and put all the crushers in there. I'll put flotation cells there. Let's say we're a little more organized, I guess. Um, I'm thinking... Let's just pull these guys out here so they're... I want them completely out of the way. We can always come back to them later on and get what, whatever we need from them if we need something. And we probably don't... I'm going to put three on there just to make it easier on the system. Okay. So we'll ship these guys way out here for now. And somehow we got one of them in there. We shouldn't be getting them on the yellow line at all. Okay, how much... 
time do we have left now? Okay, we're actually way over. I thought we had enough time. Um, in the next episode, we're going to get the, um, the sorting machines in, and I'm going to clear, I'll have all these trees cleared by then, and, uh, we'll get this, uh, moved out of the way, and I'll get a couple more flotation units in there. So I will see you guys in the next episode.